Hello, and thank you for choosing Cedars-Sinai. Your doctor has ordered a nuclear medicine stress test for you. This video will let you know what to expect and how to get ready for your exam. The nuclear medicine stress test shows how well your heart works during physical activity. It also can measure blood flow to the heart, as well as show if the heart has been damaged. There are a few things you will need to do to get ready for the test. First, you will not be able to eat for three hours before the exam. Second, you will not be able to have anything containing caffeine, such as coffee, tea, or chocolate for 24 hours before the test. Please be aware that decaffeinated products contain small amounts of caffeine, so you cannot drink decaffeinated coffee either. Your stress test will be done at the Taper Imaging Department here at Cedar sinai A transporter will come to your room to take you to imaging. If you can, you should go to the restroom before you leave your room. Any devices used for your care, such as an IV, heart monitor, and oxygen, will either be supplied or be brought with you. A family member or friend can come with you, but must stay in the imaging waiting area until your exam is done. The transporter will check you in at the pre-scan area. For your safety, you will be asked the same questions a few times by different members of the imaging staff. Patients with heart monitors will still be monitored. We will give you a call light in case you need help. We do many types of scans and imaging, and you may see people come after you and leave before you. Don't worry, we didn't forget about you. These patients may be having an imaging procedure that is different from yours, or it may be an emergency situation. We will do our best to keep you from waiting, but delays can happen. A member of the imaging staff will move you to your exam room when it's time for your test. Your cardiac imaging team will explain your exam to you, and you will be asked medical questions about your health and your heart history. If you don't already have an intravenous line, called an IV, it will be put in one of your arms. There are three parts to this test. Part one is a stress test, which takes about an hour total. A nuclear staff member will place EKG leads on your chest to monitor your heart. Then, you will either walk slowly on a treadmill or take medicine to increase the blood flow to your heart. You will be monitored at all times by nuclear medicine staff members. Next, to look at your heart, a radioactive tracer will be injected through your IV. The radioactivity you're exposed to during this test is very low and will not hurt you. And the information the test gives your doctor far outweighs this small exposure to radiation. After the stress test and a waiting period, you will be ready for part two. During part two, a special camera will be positioned very close to your chest and will take pictures of your heart. This takes about 45 minutes. Part three of the test will look at your heart at rest. A second dose of radioactive tracer will be injected, and another set of pictures will be taken of your heart. This takes about 30 minutes. In between each part of the test, there will be a waiting period. It will take about four hours to complete all three parts of the study. Normal responses during testing include shortness of breath, sweating, and feeling tired. Your safety is important to us, and you will be monitored at all times by nuclear medicine staff members. The test will be stopped or changed if it is unsafe for you to continue. When your exam is complete, your technologist will not be able to give you the results. Your exam must first be read by a specialized cardiologist within the next day. The information will then be sent to your doctor who will talk to you about the results. After your exam, you will be moved to the post-scan area before the transporter takes you back to your room. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please ask a member of the imaging team. Thanks for watching.